Hello everyone, I am Eternal Evico and welcome back to my 120 single player world. And today we are going to do roads. Lots and lots of roads. So, um, first things first, I actually made a terrible doodled map of how I want things to lay out in like the broader strokes and then if we need to add smaller more detailed things later and of course the big factor is going to be the terrain so here is the very rough doodle of how I want the map to lay out so obviously there's the waterside paths such as the ones we already kind of have um and then I want them to go up and connect to both of the animal pens um, not sure about this section. Honestly, it depends on where I end up putting the barn, but I do want basically a riverside path the entire way through, which can connect into docks and other things, and I can destroy it and move it around with the structures that I build alongside the water. We're gonna have bridges here, here, and here, um, to continue the connection also so I can utilize this island because it's cute. Um, the tricky section is specifically this bit over here because of the terrain. So I'm going to hook it up into the village that's already up here because that's, I'm probably going to put a castle up there, like an old, like, fortress style castle intended to collect, collect, words, um, like, taxes on ships passing through this waterway is the, the general idea for that. Um, so, like, specifically which buildings are gonna go where, I haven't decided yet. I'm probably gonna have more outskirty residential stuff here, and then the core of the town will probably be this area at the base. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna hop into it, and I'm just gonna, like, path block rough draft these paths in, and just see how things line up with the terrain, and then we'll come back and we'll kind of look at, okay, what works, what doesn't work. And do some detailing stuff on that. So, um, yeah, for primary goal is I'm not going to take down any trees on this part. If I need to take trees down later, I will, but I'll be really sad about it. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the paths marked out. I'm doing this in replay mod because it's just an easy way to look at where things are. So on this half, we have two paths, one that goes over to the animal plains and the other which falls alongside the curve of the river. Um, and one of them, they both connect up here to this road, which goes in between this ruined nether portal, which I'll probably restore at some point, and the trail that goes over to my house. Um, the trail also goes up from the nether portal to connect to this large island here and loop along to this smaller island here. Um, stuff goes along the banks on both of these. You have more bridges. All of them are diagonals. I don't want to build them. It's fine. I can make it better later. Um, and then this is where the really interesting ones are. So it kind of loops up around to here while also going down to the riverbed. On the other side, we have a bridge there as long as along with a trail which goes up and around. And then we have connecting ones between those lake trails. And this is probably going to be our center street right along here. Um, which hooks up to the section which loops around closer to the base of this hill and the castle will probably go up hereabouts maybe I'm not sure yet but yeah so we've got the trails done so now it's just time to work on the storage building and I think I'm gonna mark out yeah yeah storage building the materials have been gathered and the spot has been decided so our storage room, which will be this area here, is very centrally located. This is basically the middle pond area. Starter base is over there, river is that, not far that way, and very close this way. The castle will be right up there, with the easiest to climb slope being 
basically a straight shot from here. So, yeah, hopefully I say I have enough materials. I might not. If the time lapse is weird, that's why. So just get yeah, your yeah, thumbs up. Let's go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. This is some real nonsense here. Wow, that's a... Uh... What terracotta is this? Is this the gray? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So mad. I literally just slept, game, you absolute twat. Come on, you. so mad. I just wanted more terracotta! Even though, d depression simulator. You wake up, it storms, you just go back to bed, you wake up the next day. I just want to check out this mine shaft before I figure out terracotta destruction. I'll probably actually lean towards, uh, I want this there. Oh, that's a spawner. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, it's a skelly spawner. Ooh. Well, um, okay. I don't need those. Take the horse armor. Don't need the bread. I want those because I like having bones. So glad I started recording. <laughs> oh, that's insane. That's insane. Oh my god. Um, wait a second. I'm gonna. Because if I die and I lose all this stuff, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. How did this happen? I am just so lucky. Yeah, that's perfectly normal Mesa generation. Badlands, whatever. For me, um, I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, this just goes here. Okay. Oh, um, I'm gonna. Shh, stop that. Yes, I have been working on my tools, mostly because I only have so much patience for burning through five bazillion iron tools whenever I do literally anything. I don't have an axe right now. <laughs> I can't believe I have a skelly spawner. That's nuts. That doesn't feel real. <laughs> To be fair, my, my ability to find spawners is pretty terrible. I think the last one I found, the only one I found in my 119 playthrough, was in the deep dark. Like, right above an ancient, the one ancient city I went to. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! It's fine. It's fine! Oh, I've missed you, efficiency. It's not even good efficiency. Okay, no, it's efficiency four. That's 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 pretty good. I'm being greedy and I know it. <laughs> I should get my terracotta and go home, but Oh Oh, look at all this cool stuff. Oh, fine card. Aim tag. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Haha. Can't get through the rails. Get wrecked. Um. Yeah. Oh, 
and the sun setting and my bed's outside. I am gonna... No. Nope. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Blah. Okay, I'm gonna say enough of that for today. Uh, anyway, back to what I was supposed to be doing. So it is finished, mostly. D d it, d yeah, time kind of got away got away from me on this one. But I got some other stuff done. So our water reels are installed. They're a wee bit jank, but that's okay. Um, and then they're connected up, connected up in quotation marks into here. So we have the mill structured. So we have the wheel approximately connecting to the water section. We have it connect both up to power power these pistons which crush things down on this and this is the grindstone so basically they lower this down and it grinds and they scrape off the bits and all the extra junk goes in the composters it's super cool um i actually think i did a decent job making this exist in minecraft it's a bit finer detail that i'm used to working with um and then I moved all of the stuff out of my house, so I uh, had to put something else there instead so it wasn't empty. So I have a little entertainment setup with a couch or an armchair or something. It, it works. Yes, it does. Actually, wait a second. Let's put you... There we go. Perfect. Um, and then continuing on, we can head over to the storage building, which I uh, have not finished, but sometimes it's how it works out. I got distracted because I had to age the copper, and I had to go get the terracotta, and I didn't have enough sand, and blah, 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 but it's a building. There's going to be no windows here. I need to put the windows in and stuff, but that's okay. So here is the storage room. And mind you, what things are where is subject to change. I might decide I need more chests for something. And there's a couple of placeholder chests that I might just get rid of because I never use them. I don't know. But yeah, so here's the general structure. And yes, every wood type gets one chest. That's how this works. Um, and then there's ladders to an upstairs area here, and I'll probably build, like, living areas here and here, because historically a lot of people have lived above their shops, since that's what this is technically supposed to be, but I built it too small to really have room to build a shop front to it, but that's okay. So, I'm just- it's done! Like, I made something! Yay! <laughs> Some, some weeks, that's all you can try to do. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully I get a bit more done. I was thinking maybe nether, maybe nether, and I don't know, maybe a blacksmith? Ah, uh, No village, like, villagers might get done, but you're not going to see them because watching villager stuff sucks. It's so boring. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!